Now it's time for a Star Wars movie review. This week he reviewed The Passion of the Christ. No, no, the, the sun's too bright. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Well, hey, everyone. Star Wars movie review is coming right at you. This week I reviewed The Passion, uh, the movie about Jesus' crucifixion that was directed by Mel Gibson. You know, Lethal Weapon Mel Gibson. You know, what women want Mel Gibson. You know, they got on the video cover of The Last of the Mohicans that looks like Mel Gibson, but it's not Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Well, it's a movie unlike any other one. First, everybody knows how it ends. Second, it's also accused of being anti-Semitic. Well, I won't go there. I just review movies. Anyway, the movie starts out in the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus is praying the night of his betrayal by Judas. The movie goes through his capture, his, his torture, his crucifixion, and then his resurrection. Well, I might as well start with the flags right now. Flag number one. Violence. Just, just, violence. It, blood and gore. But blood and gore. It's not a movie for Sunday school goers. Flag two. The whole movie is subtitled because everybody's speaking Aramaic, you know, how they did back then. It's all right. It doesn't take away from the power of the movie. It's a nice alternative to, you know, listening to what they're saying. Now the question is, did I like this movie? Well, it's a really hard movie to enjoy. I counted about three happy parts throughout the entire movie. The rest of the time I was just cringing. That said, it's not an evil movie. It does showcase some of Jesus' teaching. But why did it get such a big opening? Why did I go see it? Well, I believe it went a little something like this. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. You've entered the no spin zone on the O'Reilly factor. You know, there's this new movie out called The Passion of the Christ, directed by Mel Gibson. There's a lot of controversy to it. <laughs> Oh, I am so there. Where's my jello? Well, I think the movie would have been a whole lot better if it had more of Jesus' good word. But I'm not one to get all riled up over that. I've got other controversies to stir up. Verdict? The Passion is a very good movie, but it's not for the faint of heart. Well, hope to hear from you guys. I'll be reviewing again soon. See you later. Thank you very much, Storm. That was absolutely spectacular. I'm glad you were actually able to you know, play your movie review this time instead of just sitting here yeah. talking this time. Anywho, next up, we have one of my favorite...